Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about polymorphism and see an example in C-sharp. So by definition, polymorphism means multiple forms. In programming, for example, one method can have different implementations. So one single action can have different behaviors based on the object type. Let's see that in an example. Let's say we have a class called animal. And this class has one method. Let's make it public and let's call it make sound. Let's just log the sound. Let's say generic animal sound. Let's go ahead and create a second class. And this time I'm going to call it dog and we're going to inherit from animal. So by inheritance, we also have the make sound method. But this time we want a different implementation because it's in a different object type and we want the behavior to change based on the type, if it's an animal or a dog. So here, instead of having generic animal sound, let's just say bark. So if we look, we have one method, which is make sound. It's the same action, the same method, but we have two different implementations, two different behaviors based on the object type, whether it's an animal or a dog. Now, if you take a look at the error here, it says, that this function hides inherited member animal that makes sound. Use the new keyword if hiding was intended. Now our intent isn't hiding, it's overriding. So to override, what we need to do is we need to add a virtual keyword here in the base class animal before the function that we are trying to override. And then here in the function that we are overriding, since we are overriding the implementation, we need to add the keyword override. Override. Let's go ahead and create a third class. Let's say cat. And again, we are inheriting from animal. We are overriding the make sound method and we are having a different implementation here. Let's just say yow. So what we have here is now three classes, one base class called animal, and then two other classes that inherit from animal, but have different implementations of the make sound method. They are overriding the default behavior. So again, we come back to the definition. Now let's see polymorphism into action. Let's say I have in my program a function called make animal sound. And this action takes an animal. And then what it does is it just calls the make sound function on that animal. Of course, we can do that because animal, the animal class, have a method called make sound. Now let's come here and create three different animals. The first one, a normal animal, equal new animal, and then let's create a dog, equal new dog, and then a cat, equal new cat. So we created one instance of each of our three classes. Now let's go ahead and call this function and pass in the normal animal. And then let's do the same, but this time pass the dog instance and then the cat instance. And let's run our program. And as you can see in our output, we call the same method, but based on the object type, we received a different behavior. And this is good because here in this function, make animal sound, we did not specify whether it's an animal, a dog, or a cat. We just specified that it's an animal, and then we are able to access the public methods of that class, which are overridden in each of the classes that inherit from animal. So they have their own implementation because they are overriding the virtual method, the virtual default method in the base class. So again, as you can see, we have one method, one single action, but we have different implementations, different behaviors based on the object type. This is useful because it lets us write less code. So here, for example, as I said previously, we just specified the base class type and we're calling the single method, the same method, make sound. And the program itself knows which implementation to call based on the object type that you are passing here as an argument. So if it's an animal, it will call the animal implementation, if it's a dog or a cat, it will call the dog or the cat implementation. 
So this was polymorphism. If this video was useful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.